Hey y'all, welcome back to My Real California Life. It is Friday. I am so happy that it's finally the weekend. We have been so busy this week just doing so much stuff, having so many appointments and errands, and my husband has been, you know, he works full time, but he's also been working every day after work until about nine o'clock at night, um, also in another city about an hour from here, helping out one of our family members who has a rental, um, that, you know, obviously has tenants in it, and there was a problem with the kitchen, and they ended up having to replace, um, basically all the cabinets and the counters, so the people, you know, are still living there, so they're trying to have to get it done fairly quick, so that the people can have, you know, a functioning kitchen, so it's been a little bit crazy. Um, I did say it's Friday, I got home from an appointment today, and we had a bunch of deliveries, one of them, which is my Walmart beauty box, and I'm super excited about that. Because I saw so many people said, you know, and I'm pretty sure, sorry, Walmart only comes seasonal. So it's not like every month. And it's only $5. So it's like, how can you beat that? Um, but I saw a lot of people said it sells out, like right away. And I saw a lot of people said, like, well, what happens if I get an email that says I'm on a list? And they said, well, um, that means that the box sold out and you'll get the next season. So I actually just signed up for it the very end of May. Um, I think it was like the 29th or 30th, and I got it today, and I'm assuming it must be the summer box, but I'm super excited I got it, y'all, and like I said, too, I heard the same thing about the Target box, which is $7, and the Target does a men and woman, um, and I think there's is every month, but again, I heard people say, you know, I tried to get it, it was sold out, I couldn't, now, when I went and signed up for it, it was the same thing, it said it sold out, I, it didn't even give you an option to, you know, purchase it, you just had to get on a waiting list got an email last night saying, hey, the box is available. Do you want it? Um, yeah. And to make it even better, I had a $20 Target gift card in my purse that my husband actually won at a union meeting a couple months ago. And I'd just been holding on to it. And I remembered I had it. So I ordered a man and a woman and didn't pay for anything. And I still have like five bucks on the card, I think. It was no, I would have $4.70 because it was $5.30 for the two boxes amazing so and then I actually just got an email a minute ago that said that they just shipped so even better but this is gonna be a little bit different I am gonna open up the other stuff I'm gonna do it in another video and I'm gonna show you guys but this video I'm gonna do a little bit different and I'm gonna kinda tell you guys about something pretty personal um, my husband I've mentioned before that I had ordered a special deodorant cream from Mighty Fix for my husband. He has a skin disease, like I told you guys, and unfortunately cannot wear deodorant. Um, and I will tell you why. So anyways, Mighty Fix is a company I found. Super duper cool. And what they do basically is you sign up for a monthly subscription. Your first month is only $3. And then after that, it's 10. Not bad. Each month, they send you one basically eco-friendly, you know, no chemicals, no contaminants, just better for the environment stuff. And if you're wanting to, you know, start living a healthier, you know, more environmentally conscious life, and I've said before, unless you're rich, you can't just go and throw everything out and just buy all new stuff. So Mighty Fix is the perfect company because you sign up and they send you one thing each month. You can order extra things and they tell you too, like, hey, your box is going to ship. We have all this stuff on special. Anything that you order before the date will ship for free with your box, which is amazing. So you get your little monthly thing. This is what I got. Now, again, it, this is my first time ordering it, so it was only $3. I will put a link in the description where you can go. You can get your first one for $3, and then again, it's $10 a month after that, but totally worth it. So, comes with a cute little welcome, mighty fix. So, hold on, let's see how it works. Um, we'll surprise you with one amazing, healthy green product each month that helps you live mightier. So, get the most out of your fix. So what I got, it says, um, for a natural scent, add a few drops of lemon, lemon, lavender, or orange essential, excuse me, essential oil to your dryer balls. So what's in the bag, I've seen these before, are these three, I'm pretty sure they're wool balls, and you put them in with your dryer, and it's supposed to cut down on the drying time by like half. I've seen other people do them. 
So, and then you can put the essential oils, which I do have because I have my laundry balls, my ceramic pellet laundry balls. I don't use laundry soap. So I have the essential oils for smells. I actually have um, lavender and I have an energy, which is like a mix of orange and a bunch of other stuff. Then I actually also have rose water. So I that's super awesome. Now, I got a bunch of balls. So, super cool. It's exactly, they're just... You know, they're pretty dense wool balls. They just smell like nothing right now. And you're supposed to, like I said, throw them in your dryer. And it's supposed to cut down on the drying time, which in return is going to save on your energy bill and the life of your dryer. It's also supposed to be really good for the clothes. Um, way better than, like, the dryer sheets and so on and so forth. You don't have to use those when you do this. It's natural, like, the static to... So, it says, toss all three in your dryer and leave them there for every load. Oh, see what I'm talking about? Clothes will dry faster, so reducing, oh, I'm sorry, excuse me, reducing drying time by 25% to keep static low. Can be washed on warm and dried on high heat if needed. So, super cool. Like I said, I have my ceramic pellet balls for the wash machine, but I didn't have anything for the dryer. So, this is awesome. And I like that you can add the essential oils directly to these to help the clothes smell good. Because that is one thing I like. I do like our clothes to smell good. And when you do use those ceramic balls to wash them, you don't have that nice smell from the laundry detergent. I mean, you do have, it just smells like a nice, clean smell. And I do add the essential oil in the water, but you know, when you're washing it, the water washes it out. You don't get the same smell. It's not as strong. So I like that you can add it to this and then it will help give the clothes more of a smell. Can't wait to try those. And like I said, I'll put the link in the description. Definitely if you're trying to live a more, like I said, eco-friendly environment, organic life, definitely check them out. It's so worth it. 10 bucks a month. I mean, that is two Starbucks. That's, you know, three or four energy drinks, one pack of cigarettes if you smoke. And you'll get one environmentally thing, friendly thing each month. Super awesome. Can't beat that. Okay, now on to what I want to talk about. And obviously it's going to be the tag of the video. How I said, they give you an option. They say, hey, we have all this stuff. If you want to buy something. Now, I mentioned before that I had got a deodorant cream. Now, they sent this giant box with a whole bunch of little packing peanuts. Oh, there we go. For that little tiny box so I don't like that to begin with I wish that they wouldn't have had so, you know I mean in all honesty I'd have been happy if they just threw that in the bag with my dryer balls I wouldn't have cared but okay I mean I understand they do want to you know protect it I do understand it was a $12 cream for that little thing so it is you know a little pricey but I'm gonna tell you about it okay so now my, and don't mind what I'm looking at, is I have my phone leaned up against my laptop because I wanted to pull up the proper spelling of basically the skin disease that my husband has. Now, I will tell you, me and my husband have been together almost 11 years. When we first started dating, he was a lot younger and he did not have his condition nearly as bad. At that point, it also wasn't um, as well known as it is now. So what would happen was he would get little bumps that they think, you know, you think either, oh, it's like a pimple or a boil, you know, but they wouldn't go away. They'd get super painful and they'd either rupture or he'd have to go and get them lanced every time we go in. Oh, one thing, it's also, it always starts either where your skin rubs together and like there's hair follicles or, um, which I mean, you have hair follicles everywhere. That was stupid. Um, like where your lymph nodes are. So between your legs, like the groin, the butt, underarms, um, behind your ears, the back of your neck. I know a lot of the times girls will get them, you know, underneath your chest and so on. So um, my husband started out um, on his butt and in his groin. And we would go to the doctor because he'd be super painful. And the doctor's always the first thing. Oh, my gosh. Have you been tested for MRSA? Now, if anybody knows what MRSA is, MRSA, it's a horrible staph infection that's extremely contagious, very hard to get rid of. It's resistant to a lot of antibiotics. It's just a really bad thing. So, of course, that's always what they thought. We would swab it. It would come back negative. And they'd say, we don't know. It just probably was a pimple, got infected. Go home, take some antibiotics, you're fine. It would come back. We'd do it again. Same thing. Oh, my gosh, are you sure it's not MRSA? We're positive. We've already been tested. But they do it again. 
swab it again. Okay. So then it started over the years, it got worse and worse to where it would be not one boil, it would be like 30 boils. Um, in his armpits, he, and this is what I say, his armpits got the worst. Because not only is it a spot where it's moist, you have hair follicles, your skin rubs together, and you have lymph nodes. So it's all of them combined. So finally, about five years ago, the one in his armpit was super duper bad and it had been open, constantly draining. Um, and of course it hurts. It's painful to him. And I mean, we had done everything. We had tried every antibiotic, tried every cream. And it's not like, you know, he's dirty. He washes every day. We tried everything. Even the stuff that they say for MRSA, nothing helped. So finally, we ended up finding a doctor who one day was, we, he got established with a new doctor. And this lady doctor, right away she saw him and she goes, oh my goodness, you have hydrodentitis supertiva, or HS. Okay, well we've never heard anything about that. What does that mean? And she's like, I have to send you to see a dermatologist. But what they say is their theory is that it's a result of a defect in your hair follicles, but they don't know like why or what causes it they don't have a cure nothing they also um it's basically a, a problem with your own immune system basically my husband has this problem and it's his body is trying to fight his own body and so it comes out in the boils that are super painful so we finally got it to a point where we have it somewhat under control. Um, like I said, five years ago, they said that the Mayo Clinic was researching it and they, in three years, they hope to have a cure, if not a cure, at least something for remission. Like I said, that was actually about five or six years ago. There still is no cure. As far as I know, there is no remission. Now we did find, they started him on an injection called Humira. Now, if you've heard of it, it's very big now. Uh, they use it for lots of things. I've seen um, they use it for plaque psoriasis. They use it for Crohn's disease. I mean, it works for so many things with the immune system. So, Humira, you take once a month. It's an injection you take once a month. You have to continue taking it until there is a cure for what you have. Because if you stop taking it, your body builds up a barrier and you can never take it again. So, okay, we said that's fine. Um... We looked into it. There is, you know, you do have side effects. The main side, one of the big side effects, I think, is like lymphomic cancer. It brings your liver enzymes up, so on and so forth. But my husband was to the point where we had done everything. We had tried everything. And the Humira was our only option at this point for him to get better at all. So, like I said, you take Humira once a month. In very bad cases, you will take Humira twice a month. You'll do a shot every other week but that's in very bad cases. My husband takes a shot every week and his doctor says he is the only person that they have ever subscribe, subscribed, ever prescribed that to, that he has never seen a case as bad as the one that my husband has. Um, and it's horrible. We, I'll tell you, we have Kaiser and I, every single time I go to pick up the prescription, we fight with them because they say, why are you getting it early? And I'm like, we're not. If you read the instructions, the doctor has requested it, blah, blah, blah. But the shot is, I think like $3,600 each shot. So of course the insurance company doesn't want to pay for it, but it's the only thing that helps him. Well, that and diet. Now that he is eating healthy and not drinking soda and has quit smoking cigarettes, it's a huge difference also. I mean, we totally see, because he had quit smoking for a while and then started again, and it was like as soon as he started again, his pumps went crazy. And that's because all those toxins trying to come out of your body, it's just going to make it even worse. So, like I said, we now have it under control, but he does still have in his armpits basically an open spot that will not close. It does close, but then what happens sometimes is it'll fill back up, so it opens back up. So he does not wear deodorant. Because not only does it hurt, um, it's super bad for you. And then it's super worse. He's wearing deodorant to try to help, you know, so that he doesn't smell because he's worried about it. But all it does is clogs his pores even worse. Deodorant super bad for you and makes it worse. So he does not wear it. And that's fine. You know, he doesn't stink. It's not like that. So 
However, though, I did find this new stuff. They sent it, you know, and they said, hey, if you want to check it out, like I said, it was $12, and it is from Soap Walla. I'll show you. Hold on. So it says deodorant cream. I'm trying to get it to focus. Sorry, y'all. It won't. So um, it says all natural yet powerful deodorant utilizes super fine vegetable powders, clays, and essential oils to absorb moisture, inhibit bacteria, and ensure a long-lasting, effective experience. A creamy consistency ensures effortless manual application and quick absorption. And what you are supposed to do, it says, is take a little bit. I guess it's like a cream. I haven't even checked out. Oh, it's got a safety seal. Okay, hold on, guys. Sealed for your protection. Okay, so it does actually look pretty like beeswax. It's solid. You know, it doesn't, I thought it was going to be kind of a cream. Okay. Smells amazing. Um, I can definitely smell a little bit of like a tea tree, but like a lemon also. Okay. So, oh, so it's not, it's really weird. That was like, I touched it just a little bit and it's almost like a mousse consistency as soon as you touch it. Kind of weird, like a, like a toothpaste is what it feels like. Honestly, if you put a little bit of toothpaste and it does say that you're supposed to take a little bit, I guess you rub it between your fingers and then you're supposed to rub it on your armpit and then let it absorb. And it actually absorbs pretty quick because now what's happening in like the liquid's gone and I can feel like powder, like, like the liquid baby powder kind of, but a little bit coarser. I don't know. It's not so fine, but it, I mean, it went away super quick The I don't know if my fingers even like maybe, oh, I can see they look a little glisteny, but they're not wet. Like, like I said, I can feel the powder. So I can't wait to try it. And if this actually works and doesn't make my husband have like breakouts which it should not because it's all natural this is going to be amazing so I can't try it right now unfortunately because he's not here and obviously we're going to have to try it for you know like a couple weeks but I will definitely come back and do a video and let you guys know so again I'm so sorry I know this video was boring and not but I just wanted to share with you guys in case there's anybody else going through this because like I said when we first started this journey nobody knew and everybody just kept saying oh you got MRSA you got MRSA and we're like no it's not we have been tested 70 million times there's got to be an answer and nobody was like no no it's not until we finally got the answer once you finally have the answer you can start looking at options and researching once we knew what it was we got to meet other people online who have suffered other people who've been through it who had their own home remedies who had things you know that they taught us that helped and things maybe don't do this we've noticed you know this makes it so it's like once, you know, there there's support groups once you find it and you can find out more stuff. So hold on, I'm actually going to show you guys because I have it up on the computer just so you can see. So they call it HS, but um, what is HS? Sorry, guys, I know you're probably like, okay, I don't know if you can see this. See, it says Hydrodentitis Supertiva is a chronic inflammatory skin condition that can be caused by a malfunction in the body's immune system. So sorry. I know that might be kind of hard, so I'm going to tell you. It's H-I-D-R-A-D-E-N-I-T-I-S is the first word. Hydrodentis. Hydrodentitis. Sorry. And then the second word is S-U-P-P-U-R-A-T-I-V-A. Super superativa. So, HS is what it's called. Oh, in case you've ever been through this, if you get boils that look like pimples or that the doctors keep saying are MRSA and it's not, maybe look into HS. It's, you know, once you find out about what to do, I'm telling you, it, it can, you can make it, yes, there is no cure, but you can make it so much better. And I know how miserable my husband was before we got to this point, and it's like night and day. He is so much happier now that we have it under control. I mean, and they say a lot of women suffer from it more because, you know, you have a lot more folds and wet spots and so on and so forth and lymph nodes. So I can only imagine how much worse it would be, you know, for a girl, and it's just so... Maybe, I hope we might be able to help somebody, but I'm going to end this video and I'm going to go check out the other stuff we got. So thank you all again so much. We'll be back soon.